There are questions today about the management style of Victoria's top cop, Simon Overland. He's under pressure after ordering his deputy, Sir Ken Jones, to bring forward his departure from the force. The Victorian government's discussing the departure and the police association is considering a vote of no confidence. The ABC's Lisa Maximovic joins me now. Lisa, how did this departure of the widely respected deputy commissioner, Sir Ken Jones, come about? Well, Nicole, there'd been some speculation for some weeks leading up to his resignation that that was, in fact, what Sir Ken Jones was planning to do. But we found out a week ago, last Monday, that he was resigning, effective of August the 5th. He planned to continue active service up until that date. So the real bombshell in this saga came last Friday when it was revealed that Simon Overland had called him into his office and basically told him to clear out by the end of business Friday. That had come as a shock to the police force and to Sir Ken Jones himself. And Simon Overland has come under a lot of pressure for ending Sir Ken Jones's career in that way. Sir Ken Jones came to Victoria Police after an extensively decorated career. He'd led Sussex Police in the UK, he'd worked in Africa, the US, 